Hello everybody, welcome back to iCraft SMP and you'll notice another set of torches about 21 by 21 in torches with a pizza nether rack dead center. So I'm looking to do a possibly large wheat farm and I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, there's only so much space back here and I can only use so much space back here realistically because this thing goes out this far. And if I go over this way, eventually I start running into the edge and I don't want to have to go off the edge there. I also run off the edges on this side and right now it's actually not off the edges, just, just, just barely. And so what I'm looking at here is also there's going to be a one, two, three, four, five. I think one, two, three, four, five. Yes, there's going to be a five wide gap roughly between the two sets of torches here. Um, or realistically, this will be part of the other the wheat farm. So one, two, three, and four. So it's going to be about a four wide gap. And that should work out really well, at least for a road. The only problem you'll notice is it goes right into right into and around the cow farm which is not a very good thing here okay guys i am back i haven't done anything yet no i think i'm gonna take up all these torches and take up this thing i i was thinking i was just overthinking things so i'm gonna go back with my original idea which which happened to be putting something right up there um and so what it's going to entail is I'm going to have to build it right over here. And then I'm going to, of course, have to build this farm thing going around, I guess, the long way. And getting my cows to hopefully drop in this way. Because the farm that I saw here is going to have to be built going over here. And I'm going to need the first two blocks right in here. Now, I don't know. I can't tell you right now if it will connect with that dropper or that hopper down that dispenser. I can't even talk right now. If it will connect properly with that dispenser right there. But if I think I can do it in the right way that I'm thinking of, I believe I can connect to that dispenser. Okay, so we're going to see what happens here. And we're going to continue this basically in the iron block. And I'm going to try to make this. It's basically a 3x3 three three system. And it involved not this thing right here, but it involved one, two, and three blocks. So that's going to be the three blocks over. And of course, it goes down about three blocks. So what is under here? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm slowly building this. It's coming along pretty good. So the idea here is that this is a clock, right? And this clock's ticking away. And there's going to eventually be a system that, oops, where that's actually the lever, where the lever's going to go. I'm missing a. A dispenser and a dropper. The idea is the dropper is going to dispense seeds. The dispenser is going to dispense bone meal. There we go. I'm like, what in the world is it going to do? However, I'm just noticing also if I want this because all it's going to do is going to shoot out baby seeds and wheat. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, if I want to make it shoot out wheat and seeds, I might want to move it down so that way I can do sorting. And then have it get sent up via sorting and I can use the same clock hopefully to power all of the system and ideally it would have worked really nice with that there but oh well um, but yeah if I could do the everything with the same power input so in other words this clock so once this clock turns on this system turns on when that system turns on this hopefully turns on with it and with that turned on it turned on an item elevator or whatever it is so let me let me sort through that idea and see what I come up with that is lower to the ground. The other thing is the cattle. I'm probably going to have to redirect them around and make them go around the backside or something. So yeah, let's see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I found some really nifty ways to line this up. Um, so up there is that dispenser and it does work now. I have a line of redstone that comes up actually from right from this clock right here. It goes out this way. And then it comes right up into that dispenser right there, which is really cool. So the only problem I'm going to have is with the hopper. The hopper, I'm going to have to go up at least one more block for this to be really effective. And come on, come on, sit down. There, nope, there it goes. And so the hopper line is essentially going to go right over the top, kind of like this. And it's going to keep going over the top all the way from over here, which happens to be the... Um, item elevator they have yet to build um, I need more droppers I kind of ran out 
Meanwhile, back here is a sorting system, a little mini sorting system. What's going to end up in here is going to be all the seeds that are going to come out. Uh, the use for that, hopefully, I don't know. The seeds usually back up really quick compared to the wheat. And so I'm afraid I'm going to back up seeds. But what I can always do is just keep going down until eventually I run out of space down there. Uh, the other half of the sorting system is going to separate the wheat, which is going to go down into the droppers there. That's my goal with those. And so all of these are essentially just going to connect right up to this guy right here. And am I in the right line? No, I am not. I am one too high, darn it. But yeah, anyway, so I have to just go... Wait, I do have one down there, don't I? I do! Okay, I just didn't realize that. Okay, good. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, good. So all of these are going to connect to that right there. And now I am trapped for good. I don't want to be trapped. There. Much better. Okay, let's see if I could just connect. There it goes. Awesome. So all of these are going to get pushed into here. And then the item elevator can have another system. And I think I'm just going to have it powered by this same line. So this line can just drop down. And it eventually it's just going to drop down to where this is. And it's going to power this, this dropper elevator system. And that should hopefully push all the wheat up. Um, what I'm missing here, obviously, is a villager. I'm going to go try to get me a villager. What I'm also missing, chicken. Haven't gotten that. And cows are slowly breeding. And otherwise, this system is effectively done. I just have to encase it in glass so that way nothing can get in here. Uh, and what I was thinking of doing was just doing something like this. Just encase the bottom. And then whether or not I uh, go out, I, I guess I can go out all the way there. That will be fine. And then just kind of encase this guy in glass so that way nobody can get in. And just block it off here a little bit. And block it off right here just in case. And then also right in front of this. So there's going to be a bit of glass like going right over the top here. Which will be good. Um, I got to get to sleep. I'm going to build me some more droppers. Okay, guys, I've pretty much got this working. I don't have a villager, obviously. I, I said I was going to get one. But I also know something, like, quite horrendous here. I'm going to show you. This is quite horrendous right here. This stuff. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking all of this right here and all of this and just shoving all of that all the way back here so that way you don't have to end up seeing all that junk, right? And so it, end, it would end up... I was looking at this and I was doing some measurements. It would basically end up going right across where the cows go. Once I put them in, I really don't have anything to worry about anyways after that. So it would just go right across. It would go past where the chickens are. And then it will pretty much be mm, a little bit out here because I have a couple things under here. So it would be a little ways out here. So this is actually a lot better to be a little ways out here. And then all I have to do is just flip this guy and just flip it around that way and then take this and flip it around this way and then it would just kind of connect on this side and it would actually fit perfectly the line that's here which means i could totally you know rotate this entire thing and it would fit that a little bit better but because i have the switch here it actually fits the switch where it's at um but no realistically i could take this line go up this way go over the top and then go, you know, just kind of follow the line out this way. And there I am. I am right at the dropper. And the only downside is it drops down by two more. So I end up having to do the same height anyways. But, but at least it'll be a little quieter being way back here versus being way up there. So yeah, I'm going to do this tomorrow for me. For you guys, to be a few minutes. Just a quick turn around the screen. All right, guys. Um, I'll be right back. And let's feed some cows, because these guys look hungry. And we almost have enough cows while we're building the wheat part of this. Our cows are almost ready to go. Hooray. Okay, my friends. I do not know, to be honest with you, if this set of hoppers will interfere with the cows. Um, obviously, i got to take these couple, two or three out just to get the cows in. But realistically, once the cows are here, will they interfere with the cows. I know they won't really interfere with me getting drops of um, wheat. That's going to be awesome. So basically how this works now is way, way, way over here underneath all of this rock and stone is a chest. This chest is going to have seeds in it basically. So this chest is going to collect all of the excess seeds that are going to come out of here. In that um, dropper right there is going to be a seed dispenser. And it's going to hold whatever whatever usual size of a dropper is. So about 
what, nine, nine stacks of 64? That should be way more than enough. And every so often, I just need to kind of come over and just grab this and refill it. Um, I thought about making another another system where I could just kind of go up and over and plug it in right in there. But I'm afraid it's actually going to interfere with a couple of things. I don't know. Uh, the other dropper is actually right... The other hopper system is actually right behind this line. And it goes up and around to this dropper system right in here. And I just get the urge to cover this bit up because it just looks weird. There we go. Much better. Anyway, so it goes up into the dropper line and up there and over and down into the wheat dispenser. This here is going to eventually get readjusted um, once I get the eggs for the chicken and get all the chickens that I need in here. I will eventually just shut that off and close it. This eventually will get them once I get a villager in here. And once the villager is in here, the villager will start planting once, of course, I till the soil. And every time the villager um, plucks stuff, the wheat and seeds will eventually go in there. All the wheat will go across the top. The seeds will go down below. I can always use the seeds for some other purpose. This pile of dirt that you see sitting here will actually go away, all of it. Uh, it's just there. Sorry, but it's just there. Over here, this button on top sets up the water. Oh, geez, okay. What did I do here? What did I do? I messed it up. Something got messed up. Oh, the signs. <gasps> That's why there's these two extra signs. I've been wondering why these signs are even here. Well, then I'll fix that. Now I have to put the sign back. Give me a sec. Okay, that's better. Now the signs are back. Now the water works properly. This one here will be turning on and off the lava system once the chickens are in there. Essentially, the chickens and the eggs are going to continuously fire pretty much forever. And the system down there is just going to run pretty much forever. And it's going to shoot eggs into that um, lava field that's down below. The rest of this will be turned on and turned off, including that up there. There is a switch that you will be able to walk to. It's going to be right around the corner. You just flip this on. As you hear that, it's turning on this, essentially this dispenser here. And if I take a piece of wheat, for example, I'm going to throw a piece of wheat in as best as I can. And oh gosh, that, that message. That's why I moved the whole thing, because that message is really loud. Let me see if I could just toss this in there. There it goes. Just gone. Now we just have to kind of run over here, and that makes all the sound, by the way, so much better. We wait patiently, and eventually a pizza wheat should pop out on this side. Assuming I did this right. There it goes. A little pizza wheat just popped out. And so basically, I could just stand in here almost indefinitely, especially if I stand way up here. It should still... Yes, it will still get picked up. And so everything works like it should. I would love to move this over some more, but I ran into some issues with getting into that the way of this guy here. So this should now, this is actually now fully AF cable for once. It's finally fully AF, fully AF cable. The only thing I gotta do is install bone meal. Bone meal, by the way, I forgot to tell you where the bone meal goes. Bone meal is gonna go all the way over here. Uh, that, that right there, that right there is a dispenser probably see it up here a little bit better but that's the dispenser that's where all the bone meal is gonna go it's gonna get filled up in here I'm gonna have what 64 stacks times nine of bone meal I'm gonna have all the seeds I need I have just random seeds floating around on the server and realistically I don't need that many seeds I will just get all the seeds I actually need later on and while it is getting dark I am gonna just start plugging in some extra lights here because I know I will need it because this area has gotten quite dark ever since I've been building and digging and building and digging all over here. Anyway, so yes, so it is finally done. I'm calling it quits for today because I want to spend next time in next videos essentially gathering a villager. That's going to be project number one. Throwing in a bunch of eggs. That's going to be project number two. And getting the cow to go in there. All of that's going to be quite fun. Yay, right? All of that will be fun. But predominantly, the goal of the next video is going to just be dragging a villager and moving the villager in where the villager belongs. I wonder if I just stick an extra light up here. It looks very dark. Maybe I just stick... There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, guys. So if you like this episode, please do like, subscribe, and definitely leave me a comment. And what I may do is I may replicate this. 
This is not my design. I will tell you, this is actually somebody else's design. It works really well. And he, this guy made it like years ago. And so I think I'm going to redo the design on Project Redstone just to give something something really awesome so that way people know where it came from and everything. Um, I'll probably see if I can get the link down below. I'll do my best to do that. Sometimes that doesn't always work like I intend to. But yeah, I'll see what I can do there. Anyways, guys, we'll, we will see you next time. And definitely glad I didn't make this gigantic one over here. That's so good. I can now save this gigantic one for other purposes like a carrot farm. That would be so good. But, yeah, we'll see what we build over here. All right, guys, stay tuned. Bye. Okay, guys, this is hilarious. Look at this. There are three cattle here. Somebody tell me where this cows came from. They didn't exist here. I could have totally breeded these guys. But where did these guys come from? I don't know. But they're here now. And I'm going to take them. And we're going to use all three. All three are no longer going to be free-ranging cows.